It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. It's King Rye, Ryan Garcia. They also... There can only be one low... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves and get... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Beautiful counter punch. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. It's so hot, so heat. There's a roof on here. You don't understand it. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting under. You're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be so fire. All hands on deck. Overcheck on the canvas. Oh, what? What a shot. What? Oh, my goodness. to turn this around halfway through. So he's back on his feet, but the judges aren't going to give him this round for sure. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in round once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. They try and do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? done with that counter shot. Final 10 seconds here in the corner. Better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to do with this. Punch scores. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. They figure out the combat. Do you believe what we are seeing? He stays. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? And you knew this was coming. They're going to take a knee. What you see right there is a heartbroken fighter. Punch could change anything when these two step in the ring. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. There's 
the bell to start the round. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Fighters always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. Outside fighters create so much unpredictable movement with left to right, box forward, box backwards. You don't know if they're going to attack or defend. Nightmare fighters. That jab misses. They exchange punches. Very competitive round here so far. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline. The defense failed them. Beautiful sneaky shot to take his legs away from him. I thought we were going to... He's going to take a knee. It's a really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. see a jab from these two. They exchange punches. This round's still up for Greg. Stumbling around in potholes. In serious trouble. His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. A survival instinct's now. Get him up. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Oh, and it's flashing lights for the flash here. He's got to get out of trouble. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. A lot of fans know how quick these lighter fighters can be, but tonight, don't be surprised if these don't pack a lot of power as well. Real good back and forth between these two fighters. He misses with that jam. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. He wasn't ready for that counter punch. The jab doesn't quite connect. Good counter punch. A punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Do you believe what we are? Very close round with 10 seconds. Oh my! That's a game changer. Bambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. They ring the bell, and here we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He throws a punch. A receipt is coming right back. Well, you know, in this division, you got to have speed and you got to have footwork, or you're going to be a cooked goose. 
Oh my goodness, so that was a Yorkshire Terrier. They're never going to give up. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. It's all offense all the time. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Swing and a miss with the jab. In this division, both fighters will constantly be on their toes trying to punch and counter punch. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes the night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. They exchange punches. Which fighter will say no moss? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. about Garcia in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but... And there's the bell to start the round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Punch could change everything in this battle. When you're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. A couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Jab misses. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Just when you think they're gonna have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. shot let's talk about Garcia in that last round they've got the momentum they've got the advantage how do they carry that into the next round I seriously they ring the bell and here we go that last round was huge for him Johnny how does he keep the momentum going Todd, my motto is if it's not broken why change it An excellent last round everything works Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This may do it. Oh, what a shot. He's staggered. He's staggered. Does he know? Does he point the corner has to stop the fight for this fighter because he's not going to lay down what resilience to be down and to be back up again to get yourself back into fight again to show your fitness and determination maximum respect halfway through the round and they've got some work to do to get back into it the best start part you know what the corner man now it's down for them doing their job get through the round regroup right freshen up boom different tactics Perfect 
counter. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation rocked. Does he know he's hurting? Final 10 seconds here. It's probably a round he'd rather forget. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. Well, if this trainer has a pep talk, now's the time to use it as they were dropped twice in the last round. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. The referee calling for seconds out as we get... Yeah. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. I have no idea what they have left. What, how? How do you come back from something like that? Not uh, twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Punch lands. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. You don't see a lot of welterweights that can bring you one punch KO power, but these two can. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is the heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Good one. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter. Let's talk about Garcia in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back in. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down.
nice exchange here from both men. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. What skill being displayed here between these two middleweights? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. A chance to make history. He is absolutely gone. The referee's keeping a close eye on him. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. hand got him clean a very competitive round with 10 seconds left let's talk about Garcia in that last round pretty dominant round there let's see how they respond here in the next round as long as they don't get complacent you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace up they've got this fight the bell to start the round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That uppercut does not score. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Big hook. Good thing it didn't land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Nice counter. Punch scores. That jab not going to score. Nice. Whoa, wait a minute. What a shot. Bambi legs are kicking in. Let's look at all. about Garcia in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. the lightweights get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork we remember with the lighter weights you're expecting at least 300 shots around they can let these shots go they can move they're fast they're sharp it's a hard night work for the referee 
Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. He threw a punch and just got countered. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he scores with the counter. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. And that hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Well, there's no argument right there. Now, you say it, night-night.